Hey guys, I'm Boot, we're in New Jersey, and today we are going to be doing something really cool. That's why I'm in my Christmas pajamas, because it's Christmas. Today, I got my new GPU and power supply. So, all we need is a computer that's ready to go. There we go. So I took the power supply out, and this is quite the large spot, but I'm kind of afraid that it's not going to fit with those drives. Uh, this is the 1000 watt 2021 version. Comes with a lot of cables here. And this big chungus right here, which is bigger than my old one, and it feels a little plasticky in the middle, but that's just the plastic cap. Apparently it has new fans in it. Uh, even with my wires bent, this power supply is bigger than that space, so I'm definitely going to have to take out that hard drive. Uh, in the meantime, let's see what's in the bag. Okay, fuck ton of cables. Uh, let's see, 24 pin connector, yep. Uh, Molex. 6 pin. Or 8 pin, I mean. Uh, Molex. PCIe for the GPU. Another SATA cable. And another PCIe cable. And another SATA cable. And another PCIe cable. And another PCIe cable. And another PCIe cable. And a CPU cable. Okay, so am I the only one who has this still? Fan cover with a hole in it. Doesn't catch anything but keep the dust in. Uh, let's see. So setting up the 24 pin connector. Get it plugged in pretty easily. Slip it through the back of the case. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just route it so that I have plenty of room to uh, get it to the basement of the case. Uh, let's see. This is the side CPU connector. It's uh, another 8 pin. And then we are going to pull them around to the basement. Uh, another PCIe for the um, GPU, and I'm going to go ahead and put two of them in. And it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to fish it through there, but I got it right by where the power supply goes in. I'll go ahead and unwrap this. This is another SATA cable, so I'm going to use that to hook up to my Blu-ray drive right here. And then I'm going to pull it through the back of the motherboard, just like all the others. And uh, these hard drives, oh, I, I gotta pull them out. They have nifty sleds and they click so nicely. Check this out. Oh yeah, but uh, I took that screw out and I'm gonna have to take these four out to uh, make sure I have plenty of room to get the power supply in. So we'll go ahead and do that. And out with the sled. It's a little bit caught on this corner. They have like beveled corners, but I just need enough room to get that power supply in. Okay, so there's the power supply. Let's get some stuff plugged into it. 24 pin. Uh, CPU header. Oh, did I screw this up? Yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. How did I wire that up backwards? And I love that click. Okay, I'm gonna run this off two power rails, so if one goes, they're not both on the same rail. Uh, those are for the GPU. This one is for the Mol, uh, not Molex, um, SATA. I'm doing separate SATA connectors to each drive there. And uh, let's see if we can wedge this in, no. Um, oh, okay, so the wire's in the way. Um, there's actually a spot on the case um, that is square for these that I had put them through. You kind of have to push the tab in to get it back through, but it was a real pain in the butt. And that's the hole right there that I'm going to be using to run them through. That's the hole it's supposed to go through. Oh. All those clicks. Peel off the sticker. Oh, the logo's upside down. Let's turn it around. And the logo's still upside down. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and screw it in. Flip it on over. 
Oh, shit. It was at this <laughs> moment that he knew he fucked up. Try to get it in. Again. And again. And again. And screw this. And we restart with me fucking this up. So now I have to take out the power supply and re hook up this one wire. I'm a freaking idiot and do things half ass backwards sometimes. Yep. And then I throw my screwdriver on the floor because that makes everything better. Okay, power supply out. Plug in the new plug. There we go. And that gives power to the DVD drive. So, on to the next thing, which is going to be um, these hard drives. Uh, unfortunately, that drive bay is not going to fit in there, so I'm just going to have to put them in there for now. Cable management, need I say more? That's me trying to cram all that in there. Next, I'm ready for the GPU. So, power color, unleash the gaming power. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. And uh, of course, the box on the inside is nicer than the box on the outside. <laughs> go figure. And the big reveal. And it's a fail because they put foam over the top. But this thing is so pretty and it looks low profile at the same time. Uh, trying to lift it out of the package was a little bit tough, but uh, holy fucking chungus. It was actually pretty chunky. There's my old graphics card. It's like a third longer and a little bit shorter. Let's check the weight on these things. 719, okay, respectable. Whoa. Holy fuck, 1538 grams. So basically over twice the weight of the 5500 XT. That's crazy. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this damn thing in. It is clean. Oh, that is going to look so good in this build with just a little bit of red and then my janky ass colored fan. Okay, almost forgot to take that off. The sound you never want to hear. Yep. Oh no, I just broke my motherboard pins. Fuck me, dude. That's bad news. Yes, it is. I'm having a good time at the moment. Uh, go ahead and get this put in, and uh, then I'm putting the wires in and kind of cable managing a little bit with strap ties. Fan cable management. nipping off the ends of the cable ties. And then for some reason, I decided afterwards it would be a good idea to screw in my GPU. Go ahead and put the case back together. Oh, there I am. And I'm done. Look at all this crusty, rusty, dusty, disgusty goodness. Yeah, I think I got enough ports here to do everything. Well, guys, I think that's about everything I could do at the moment. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. But yeah, I, uh, I broke the header on my motherboard. Luckily, though, it was just a part of the plastic broke off, not the entire thing. So I was able to plug it right back in. All the pins are still there. Everything's still connected. Haven't had any issues. However, I still have yet to run some benchmarking on this GPU. I still have yet to do some tests and see what I come up with. 
But in the meantime, I think I'm going to put out a video in a couple weeks, um, basically just uh, talking about the performance of this thing. Um, this is the 7900 XT, and I have it paired with a 5800 G. I don't know if I'm getting benefits or not yet. I don't really know if there's anything different that I need to do. I'm going to use the DDU and uninstall uh, my previous drivers and then put in new drivers and go from there. So when I do that, you guys will be front row to that, the 7900 XT, uh, pretty much almost the top, top, top of the line um, in the AMD side. And the reason I did that is because I went with the AMD 3070, 3060. And uh, it was more or less a side grade from what I already had. And so I went with the 7900, figured this is going to be the most bang for the buck. 20 gigs of VRAM, um, you know, I, I just don't see that being a problem. Um, and, you know, the XTX I know is 24, I believe, but, uh, you know, four gigs is not going to make or break the card. It's really not. And, uh, you know, leave some comments down below with, uh, you know, if you saw some of the little things I missed, <laughs> which I noticed later on. I'm rambling. Guys, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.